Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Glasgow for the World Boxing Super Series show. With me I've got Paul Butler. You're just out there in a tough 10 rounds against a good durable opponent. How do you assess your performance? Uh, I had time, I'd probably give it six, six maybe. Um, at times I wanted I wanted that little bit of a tear up, I think a few, in a few rounds you could see me waving a mint and come on, I, I fancied a little tear up at times in there and just fall the show a few times. I'd be a bit of ring rust, I've been out. Well, it's probably the longest I've had out the, the ring since. Back in May, wasn't it? You yeah, know, like I, but I, I had like three months off, which is the longest I've had off since I was 10 years of age. Obviously, 19 yeah. years, that, that's a long time to oh, out the ring for me. I'm normally back in after two weeks, whether it's a win or a loss, but uh, I had a good, a good rest. We've got back in and we've, we've had that turnaround. around. Well, you said that you, you were what a tail, but it was, you, was, you were a reserve for this World yeah. Cup Super Series debate, anyway. but in the back of your mind, when you sort of playing it safe, hoping that you wouldn't get a nasty cut or anything like that, I know you've got your shoulders, you can see, but was there a wee bit in the back of your mind trying to play it safe, don't get nasty cuts, don't do this? It didn't even cross my mind that I was, I was, a, I was a reserve for the next round. Um, once you're in there, it's tunnel vision and like, all week uh, I've been in my group chats with the lads and they're all looking forward to it and, and I'm like I can't wait for a scrap, you know what I mean? Like it's been that long since I've been in the ring so I fancied a little bit of a scrap but, but at times I felt like I, I got back to my box and I relaxed and moved my head and moved my head well at times. And, there was times where I just got kicked, caught with silly shots, but I knew the kid couldn't really hurt me. Even though he's got an half decent record of, of stopping people as well. I had a little bit of pop, but nothing that could could phase me. That's why I felt like I could, I could walk up to him and, and do what I wanted, really. You lost against top-level yeah. opponents, like Carl Frampton at the beginning of the exactly. game. Exactly. And Nui, obviously. Yeah, Josh uh, Warrington. Josh Warrington. Yeah. Well, yeah, so he's only lost to Pedro, and you're one of them as well. So yeah. You can take some positives out of that, I suppose. A hundred percent. And I think it, in a way it stopped them to the body. Uh, is that what you were aiming for? I see you were throwing them straight yeah, back to the body just, as well. Yeah, uh, we knew once we threw that, he'd throw that out. We'd seen that in previous fights. He's, he likes to throw what he gets caught with at times as well. He, he seemed to half block mine, but with his elbow. But I've been caught with them myself, and when the elbow presses in, you still feel the effects of it. So, no, we, we knew we were, we knew we were getting there. You've got a nice pack there yeah. on your shoulder. What exactly happened with the injury there? <laughs> um, it's not so much an injury, it's just a, it's just a horrible shot of pain. I've got uh, round seven, we both come out, and I think if you watch it, watch the fight back. Very first shot, we both throw. He comes over for the overhand right hand, I come with the left hook, the short left hook, and our arms sort of like glide along each other, and it pushes mine back and down. Um, and I hardly threw that shot. So I couldn't get no power in the left up from then on. Um, the jab I could throw, but getting into round ten, it was it was aching and, and a bit sore. When I was watching the fight, it seems to me that you were coming, you started coming into the fight more in the second half of the fight. Yeah. The first fight round was just coming too slow, but the last five, six, seven, nine, you were getting in there, you were throwing the jab, you were snapping his head back. You were, yeah, you were doing I think my jab was working well. Um, when I was, it felt at times in there when I was throwing the right hand, I knew I was falling short, but partly it could have been me, but I think it was mainly to do with him, with him having that little half a step back, but if you watch as well, it's quite awkward and he leans back, so it was making me look, it was making me look bad as well. So again, what's next for you then? Obviously you've got the injury here, but you are a reserve yeah. like we've spoken about. No, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back in next week, that's no no big shakes, that, that's uh, just a little twinge, um, I've had it before in sparring. Uh, I'll get it seen to probably the start of next week. Well, I've got to ask you, who and then I'll be back in. You're, you're, you're the ban and weight. Yeah. You're a reserve, like we just said. You've obviously got a keen eye on the on this Tonight's competition. Fight, yeah. Tonight's fight, probably the fights against Benui and uh, Rodriguez and all that sort of stuff. So what? Um, what's your what's your pick? Who, who, do, you, who do you believe is the favourite going into this as the ban and Well, uh, the bookies don't lie, do they? In the red hot favourite, mm. and rightly so as well, I think. Um, we don't call him the monster for nothing. He's uh, he's doing something which is unheard of. Um, he's putting people asleep, not just not just stopping them. He's putting them asleep. Very good pedigree champions. He's putting them asleep. But at flyweight, which should be flyweight in bantamweight, it's unheard of, and he's doing it regular. It's unheard of 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 your middleweights doing it and stuff, putting them to sleep. But he's he's, he's pole action on them. At, at Bantam would you, would you like to face him? You know what, I'd fight anyone. Yeah. I'd fight anyone tomorrow. Um, stick a helmet on me and, and a body bag and stick me in there. <laughs> yeah, no, but listen, I'd, I'd fight anyone, uh, anywhere as well. Um, he's only human. 
but he's a, he's very very good. He's very talented as well. Um, yeah, so he's red hot favourite for me. Well, last before like, you go and get your shower and all that and enjoy the rest of the night. Uh, you seen what the Roblox Super Series done with the cruiserweights? They brought them back for the second season. The third season comes along and they bring the bantamweights back. Are you going to yeah. chuck your name in the hat? Hundred um, percent. I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I'm here. I'm in the mix. I'm, I'm reserved at the moment and. I'm enjoying it, it's a great setup and obviously our gym's been here before with Callum who's here today right and uh, the he's the winner of the super middle oh. so yeah, it's Do nice to Ali be back in. in the Gallagher gym. Yeah, it'd be lovely wouldn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks for this 5 TV and I'll, I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, thanks, thanks very much so mate. Cheers.